Greetings, everyone. I'm Clifford Mwenda, a GMAT trainer at the Kenya Relief Program. And uh, welcome to this video. I'll be taking you through the functions. Uh, these are very limited questions in the GMAT. You might not easily find them in the GMAT. However, when you find them, they should be free marks after you watch this video. Yeah. And so without much uh, further ado, we can jump into the video. Functions are expressions that are taking take in an input and uh, produce an output. They come in various forms, but uh, in many ways, they're denoted as f of x, where x is the input, fx is the expression, and the output is produced through the expression. Uh, these inputs may vary. They are, you can input variables, you can input values, you can input even other expressions, as you'll see in these examples. And so, uh, Let's do this example and see how functions work. Pause the video, give it a try, and I'll jump in. Well, f of x is given as x squared minus 2x minus 1. What is f of 5? For this, we'll replace each and every x in x squared minus 2x minus 1 by five. Our five here is the input and our fx is the expression and therefore we'll be finding the output after inputting the five in the expression. So five squared minus two times five minus one, that's 25 minus 10 minus one. Well, 25 minus 10 is 15 minus one, that's 14. 14 here is our output. Five was the input, and our f f x here was our expression, or can say a function. And so, for the GMA to make these questions hard, they give inputs that are expressions of very complex uh, quadratics. And so, uh, let's do this next question and see how you can input an ex another expression in a function. So uh, you can pause the video, give it a try, then I'll jump in. F of A equals A squared. What's the value of F of A plus B minus F of A all over B variable? So we already have this F of A in this expression. So all we need to find is the F of A plus B. F of A plus B equals to A plus B squared. Since you're replacing a here with the expression a plus b. Uh, this is a common pattern you'll find in the GMAT, uh, but for those who don't know, it's a sum of squares. You'll see that, uh, let's fold this out for those who don't know the pattern, but uh, for those who know the pattern, it's a squared plus two ab plus b squared. Let's fold this so that those that don't know the pattern can be familiar with it. Uh, the F here stands for first, that's A times A, A squared, plus outer is A times B, that's AB, plus inner is B times A, that's still AB, and last is B times B, that's B squared, well, A squared plus 2AB plus B squared, as I mentioned up here. Let's simplify this whole expression or this uh, fraction complex fraction, uh, that should be x a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. f of a is a squared, so minus a squared all over b. Well, a squared minus a squared, that's uh, zero. They'll cancel out. So it will be left with 2ab plus b squared all over b. We need to uh, cancel out a factor of b in 2ab so that uh, it should be left with 2a cancel a factor of b, b in b squared to remain b and this goes so uh, we'll have a 2a plus b and our answer is b i hope you got that right uh, those were easier questions i uh, we can do three test uh, practice questions and see how you're faring in this concept so uh, you can pause the video give this our uh, first practice question a try and i'll jump in well, 
for all for all non-negative integers a b c the function g is defined by g a b c equals to seven squared a plus seven to power one b plus seven to power zero c which of the following is equal to g five four one minus g of three six four so let's simplify g a b c will equal 49 a because uh, 7 squared is 49 plus 7 to power 1 that's 7 b 7 to power 0 that's 1 so it's be left with c let's find g 5 4 1 g of 5 4 1 that will be 49 times 5 plus uh, 7 to power 1 that's 7 times 4 plus c that's 1 times 1 We'll have we'll have a one sorry then we'll do a g three six four this is 49 times three plus seven times six plus four well uh let's do uh the g five four one minus g three six four so g of five four one is this expression here Let's do a square bracket so that you can have a 49 bracket times five plus seven times four plus one minus G of three, six, four is this expression here. So that's a 49 times three plus seven times six plus four. Now we'll need to put the like terms together. That's our 49 with this 49 here while you open this bracket, these uh, brackets uh, so that you can simplify this expression. Uh, 49 times 45, 49 times five, sorry. We'll, com we'll combine this with this. Uh, this is 49 times three plus we take this uh, seven times four minus seven times six since we've opened the bracket so the positive becomes the negative then we'll have a one plus one minus four well this is negative three plus one minus four that's negative three we can factor out a factor of 49 here and have four five minus three to simplify this equation then you can have a factor of seven out so that you can have four minus six then minus three five minus three that's two two times 49 that's 98 four minus six, that, that is negative two, times seven, that's negative 14 minus three. So it's a 98 minus 17 equals uh, 81. Well, we know G of five, four, one minus G of three, six, four is 81. Let's figure out what A, B, C, D, and E are. So for A, G of zero, eight, one, that's 49 times zero, that's zero. Eight times seven, that's 56. Plus one times one, that's one, that's equals to 57. Well, this is not our answer. So A is not our answer. For B, G of one, four, four. 49 times one, that's 49. Plus four times seven is 28. Plus four times one, that's four. We can have a that two plus 49 that equals yeah it's 81 so yeah b might be our answer for g177 that uh 49 times one that's 49 plus seven times seven that's 49 okay this is already greater than 81 because it's 98 and uh, c is not our answer d g of two two three 49 times two that's 98 plus seven times two that's 14 okay this is also greater than 81 so d is not our answer e g of three four two that will be uh, 49 times three well 49 times three is a lot way more greater than 81 so e must not be our answer so our answer is b i hope you got that right let's do this second practice question and pause the video Give it a try. Well, we're given f of x 
equals to 100 minus 2 to the power x. f of x is also equals to 6, which then choose the following is the value of x. So these two functions are equal, but two values, 6 is equals to 100 minus 2 to the power x. This means uh, we can add 2 to the power x to both sides so that you can have a 2 to the power x equals to 100. Uh, subtract 6, so you can have a 2 to the power x equals to 100 minus 6, that's 94. For you to get a 94 using a given a value of uh, 2 to the power x, if you have a base of 2, and uh, what will be the value of x such that uh, 2 to the power x will be equal to a 94? So we know that 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32. Mm -hmm. 2 to power 6 equals to 64. 2 to power 7 is equals to 128. Well, 94 lies between these two. So if 2 to power 6 is less than 94, and 94 is less than 128, which is 2 to power 7, sorry, which equals 2 to power 7, that, that means if you were to raise 2 to power x, the x will be between 6 and 7, maybe 6.5, 6.4. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but for you to get a value of 94, then x should be between 7 and 6. Well, uh, for all these choices, only b is sufficient given our inequality. 6 is less than 6, is less than 7. I hope you got that right. Let's go to our last question. Pause the video, give it a try, then I'll jump in. You are watching Success with Bob Moiti Show, presented to you by Upstack America. Upstack America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstakeamerica.com Upstake America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. Well, we have f of x equals to 343 over x cubed. What's the value of f of 7x times f of x over 7? Let's start with f of 7x. Well, uh, 343 replace the value of x cubed replace the value of x with 7x so that you can have an x 7x cubed this is equal this equals to 343 over 7 cubed for 3 times x for 3 this means that uh, 1 over 7 cubed times 343 over x cubed note that this is f of x let's do f x over 7 343 divided by this time is x over 7 to power 3 well 343 x over 7 to power 3 that would be x cubed over 7 cubed this means that this uh, simplifies to 343 over x cubed times 7 cubed not this is f of x and we need to express these two in terms of f of x as the question asks. So uh, let's do f of 7x times f of x over 7. That will be f of 7. This is the f of 7x. So we have a 1 over 7 cubed times 343 over x cubed. Well, times f of x over 7. It's uh, this one here. We have a 343 over x cubed times 7 cubed. This uh, 7 cubed and this 7 cubed uh, cancels out and you're left with 343 over x cubed times 2, 343 over x cubed, all this squared. And remember this was our f of x. So our answer should be f of x squared. I hope that's clear. I hope you got that right.